Hello Trade Pros, this is Victor from Trade Pro Academy and today we've got another video for you. As you can see, we're going to be talking about trading plans today and this is a little schedule of what we're going to be looking into today. So the intro, what is a trading plan, developing a plan, the importance of following a plan, the conclusion, and some upcoming news regarding plans. So intro, why should you listen to me? Who am I? I'm Victor from Trade Pro Academy, Trade Pro's junior trader. I trade futures and I'm going to talk to you guys about the importance of a plan, some stories that I might have, some of my experience regarding plans and so on. What is a trading plan? A trading plan is something that you develop throughout your trading career to trade successfully and manage risk better. It's all about managing the risk. You want to look at managing risk and managing your money before you look for the profits and the gains and developing a trading plan to do so is crucial to becoming a successful trader. A trading plan can be done for any type of market, whether it's a bull market, a bear market, a consolidation, sideways range market, a breakout, or a fade. So it doesn't matter what kind of market condition you're in, as long as you have some kind of trading plan for each of these market conditions or each of these trade setups, you will be fine. But the important thing is to follow that plan. We're going to talk about why in just a little bit. Stemming from that, how do we develop a trading plan? Developing a trading plan involves maybe three to five criteria that you look at and that you want to happen consecutively to get into that trade. That is what a trading plan encompasses generally. So you want to look at three to five maybe indicators or trade setups criteria that you're looking for that have worked for you in that particular market style that will help you execute your risk management perfectly and carefully. So that might mean, let's say we're in a bull market and we're trading S&P futures. When price goes up gradually, you're looking for an in to get in on this bull market, right? So your criteria may be looking for the correlations of other equities markets, the volume to the upside, the imbalances on a footprint chart, and maybe the inventory on the ladder. So if all these combine together to form a solid entry, on your footprint where the imbalances are for a tiny little pullback that is generally the base of what a trading plan is and that's where you get in and that's how you manage your risk it's very important to follow your plan because diverting from your plan can be very detrimental and can really cut your risk management risk management is very important and they go hand in hand with a trading plan psychology and emotions of a trading plan so guys traders sometimes they'll lose a trade or two and everything just goes blank in their minds, their eyes shut off, their brain shut off, and they just look for revenge trading. If you follow your plan, if you stick to those three to five criteria that you have in your plan, you can evade this psychological and emotional breakdown. You just got to tell yourself, this is my plan, this is how I'm going to trade, this is what I'm sticking to. It's very easy to fall off the rails in your plan and just start doing whatever. As long as you have a plan and you follow that plan, you can minimize risk. Trading plan also keeps you very selective in your trades. Doesn't mean you're in the market all the time, just pressing buttons, losing money here, gaining some here, letting the broker eat up on your commissions. It keeps you very, very selective. So with your trading plan, you might have maybe three to four trades a day that look really, really good to you, high probability trades, maybe even one or two, but if they're high probability and you manage your risk, you follow that plan, they could be successful and you could have made your money for the day. Along with the risk management that we have talked about, it does save your account. You will look to take smaller losses and larger wins, but at the beginning you might start off with smaller wins and when you gradually build from that, your account will build and that means that will scale up to larger and larger profits a lot, as long as you minimize your losses while taking control of your risk management by following your plan you'll become a successful trader. That's the key. You've got to start small and then you scale up. You take some smaller losses, maybe some smaller wins, but the more it grows, the more you follow your trading plan, the more your psychology is intact, the better your emotions, the better risk management. That means you're going to be a successful trader. In conclusion, guys, trading plans are very, very key to being a successful trader. You've got to follow that risk management, keep your emotion in check and your psychology. Speaking of psychology, we have a great psychology course that helps you with your emotions, your psychology as a trader and as a person to develop so you can create that killer instinct to follow your plan. Now, talking about some upcoming news, we're developing a little mini-series in our futures course that 
outlines the steps into creating a plan where we do help you create a plan and we show you how we follow that plan in different market conditions to successfully trade managing risk. So again guys, this is Victoria from Trade Pro Academy. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Give it a like, a thumbs up, hit that subscribe button. And when you hit the subscribe button, make sure you smack that little bell for a ring to our morning updates every morning for our future scores. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Leave a comment down below what else you'd like to see. Do you want me to expand on the training plan video or do you want me to go in a other direction? Thanks again, guys. I'll see you next time.